guys welcome back welcome back to my channel uh, so I'm hoping to do another engine test today um, it's been raining for about a week in the UK so yeah uh, I've got the afterburner belted on um, we need to see how the engine behaves with the afterburner on see if we get any high EGT temperatures I'm not going to be trying to light the afterburner I don't think my neighbors will appreciate it um, that'll probably be done when we get to the track there's a couple of ways I can light it I'm hoping it will light on the button but if not there is another method I can use so just before we do the engine test a couple of guys have been asking me about uh, how it is I control the, the, the throttle the, the, the fuel into the engine and basically what I use is a modified version of one of these this is a high pressure hydraulic needle valve it's quite robust body and basically what you do is you need a version that you can remove the cap and that the whole mechanism unscrews. Now normally, I broke this one, there'd be a little like cone with a slot in on there. What you need to do is you need to grind off the, uh, the slot area so you end up with a little stubby bit sticking out. And then you need one of these which is a I don't know if you can see it very well, it's a throttle body spring. What I'll do in a second, I'll set the camera up on the cart and, and show you the, 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 uh, the throttling operation, but it, it works when you twist it, it wants to return. So that's, that's a throttle body spring. So as I say, what I'll do in a second, I'll uh, move the camera onto the cart and uh, just do a bit, 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 bit of a demonstration there. Because the other thing you need to do is you need to make like a big washer that fits on there, tack it on, and uh, on that washer you've got a groove around the outside. But I'm sure it will all become a lot clearer um, when I show it you on the car, and then shortly after that we'll set up and we'll get this engine test done. I've got a gauge into the back of the uh, the afterburner. I'm hoping we're going to get some readings that will tell me, or we can calculate roughly what kind of thrust we could be potentially get in um, I'll see how well I've got the tube set up and everything but uh, so we'll get on with it guys this is the throttle mechanism the throttle cable there there's a the large washer I talked about with the slot in the side of it that's the uh, high pressure body needle valve body and then what I also do is a, a drill and tap with a, a fitting which takes off the the pressure the fuel pressure reading um, that's basically the return line and what it does is it closes the return so the fuel can only basically go towards the engine and that just returns the tank you can see just there throttle body spring I had this little spring here just to help with the uh, returning it and then there's your throttle cable just here I'll just go and operate it So I hope that helps some of you guys out and you've got a bit more of an idea of how I do the uh, the uh, throttle control. Um, it was another member of the group that kind of put me on to this, a guy called Richard Staveley. He was using something similar and uh, kind of worked it out together. It's been very successful on the past couple of carts and this engine and probably any that I go on to do later. So, uh, yeah, as I say, I hope that helps you out. We'll get set up now, hopefully. Uh, still some clouds in the sky, but we'll get set up for the test.
the rain held off, we got the test done. Um, not quite sure about the, uh, the pressures we're getting off the, uh, the gauge. I don't know if it's because the pitot tube's going into the afterburner. Uh, I'll have a word with a few people and see what they think. But we got up to 40 PSI, uh, oil pressures improved. EGTs are a little bit higher, which we kind of expected. We might have to trim a little bit off the, uh, the nozzle, the, the final cone on the end of the, uh, the afterburner. Um, we'll, we'll see. I think we're probably going to have to take a bit off by the time we add some extra fuel and that. Um, the, the, the overriding thing that we don't know with this compressor wheel that we're using is um, what its mass flow is at certain RPMs. It's kind of um, working from past experience. So I suppose the proof will be once we get it on the track and see what kind of speeds we do. But uh, yeah, I think everything was successful. Uh, Till next time, guys. Take care. Uh, if you get a chance, please like and share. You know the score, guys. So let's say, take care, guys. Bye.